I am finally on chapter 7, The Sorting Hat, and I am super excited. I'm going to go through this chapter, like, really, really fast, because I really want to get sorted. So, yeah. Okay. So, um... There's really nothing to do on this page. Oh, oh, there's a video of J.K. Rowling! So this is it. The sorting hat is about to decide which house you will be joining. Once sorted, you can collect house points and compete for the house cup. And if you're feeling confident, you can duel with other students. Answer oh. truthfully. After all, the hat's decision is final. Good luck. <gasps> I'm so excited! Okay, so I get it. If I get sorted into Gryffindor, I'll be okay. Super excited. If I get into Slytherin, I'll be okay. I'll be a badass slash rebel. So, I mean, it's not that bad, even though I might turn out to be a bad wizard. But, um, if I get so I'm really hoping for Ravenclaw, because it's just that that's what I've seen myself as. And if I get sorted in Hufflepuff, I think I'll be okay. Um... Because, I mean, Hufflepuffs are really loyal, and I figure myself as really loyal, I hope. <laughs> so, I mean, I think I'd be happy with any house, but I'm rooting for Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, or Slytherin. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm excited! Here we go! Question one. How would you like to be known in history? The wise... The good, the great, the bold, um, I don't know, uh, I'm so nervous, okay, um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the good, really. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Boxes are placed before you, which would you try and open? The small tour pour to shell box embellished with gold inside which some small creature seems to be squeaking Aww. a gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key marked with a mysterious rune that you know is the mar mark of Merlin the ornate gold casket standing on clawed feet which in whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. Definitely not. <laughs> a small pewter box assuming and playing with a scratched message upon it that reads, I open only for the worthy. Nah. <laughs> so I'm either going to choose the tortoise box with the small squeaking noise or the box with a silver lock and key with the mysterious rune that you know is the mark of Merlin. I think I'm gonna go with that one. The mark with Merlin. Yes. Yes. Troll has gone berserk, berserk in the headmaster study at Hogwarts. It is about to s it is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures, including a including a cure for dragon pox, which the headmaster has nearly perfected. Student recordings back going back a thousand years on a mysterious handwritten book filled with strange ruins, believed to belong to Merlin. Which order would you rescue the objects from this troll's club if you could? A. The cure first, because that can help many people. Well, if it's mysterious ruins, strange ruins, you don't know what that is, and maybe those student records could help you figure out what was in the Merlin book. So I'm gonna do, I have it, Dragon Pox, Cure, Student Records, and Merlin's Books. Yes, select this order. You could have any power, which would you choose? The power to read minds, the power of invisibility, the power of superhuman strength, the power to speak to animals, the power to change the past. Ooh, hoo, hoo. The power to change your appearance at will. This is tough. Definitely not power, uh, superhuman strength. The power to speak to animals. No. The power to change the past. No, I don't think so. The power to change your appearance at will. It's either. 
the invisibility or change your appearance at will. The power to change your appearance at will. Because in case you wanted invisibility, you couldn't be seen. Like, I mean, you can practically do the same thing with six, and, like, or with the change your appearance, except that you can, you like, you know, you can use it to your advantage. I guess. I just feel better with the power to change your appearance at will. Yes, proceed. Late at night, walking down the street, you hear a peculiar cry that you believe to have a magical source. Do you? Proceed with caution, keeping one hand in concealed wand and a eye open for any disturbance. Draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. Draw your wand and stand your ground. Withdraw to the shadows away developments while mentally reviewing the most appropriate defense and offensive spells should trouble occur. I'm torn between the pros proceed with caution, keeping one hand on your concealed wand and an eye out for any disturbance or draw your wand and try to discover the source of the noise. The only difference really is like you're hiding it or you're showing it. You're showing your wand. I think I'd do the draw your wand because then I feel I would feel more protected like if they like I just feel more protected. Oh, moon or stars, that's easy. Stars. That's just a no brainer for me stars. Black or white? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Black or white? It shows a chess piece. I'm gonna go with white. I got into Hufflepuff. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not that really ashamed of that, actually, because I I accept being a Hufflepuff. <laughs> so I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I mean, I was rooting for Ravenclaw, and Gryffindor. I knew I would like. I don't have like, the guts to be in Gryffindor. So, I mean, I kind of, I was kind of thinking I would be in either Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, okay, I'm gonna tell everyone I'm a Hufflepuff now.